Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just wanted to do a quick scope for you all today. Just a quick one in the afternoon to offer some encouragement as we make it halfway through the week. <laughs> so invite your followers, invite your friends. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Hi, Renee. Welcome. Thank you for joining, everyone. Thank you for joining, Taylor. Dr. Angela, thank you for joining. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, welcome everyone. Welcome. Thank you for inviting, inviting your followers and your friends. I just want to um, talk about a key that will be beneficial for many of us um, as we are in the mid, almost mid-year of 2016. So thank you for inviting your followers and your friends. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is just a quick scope that I'm going to do today, and I'll have another one later tonight. The key that I want to talk about, that I think if all of us were honest, <laughs> hello, welcome, everyone. All of us were honest. It's a key that we we all can do better, a better job of using. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for joining. The key that I want to talk about on today is consistency. Bless you, bless you. Thank you for joining. Consistency. If we look at today's date, <laughs> if we look at today's date, I know I will speak for myself first. There are many things that I could have already gotten accomplished midway through 2016 if I would have been consistent, if I would have been consistent, consistency is something that the enemy is after. We have dreams, we have words, we have promises, but a lot of times the missing link or the missing key for many of us, it's not that we don't love God, it's not that we're not pursuing him, it's our consistency, our consistency. <laughs> and you have to ask yourself, why is your consistency not consistent? I know that kind of sounds funny um, in words, but why is our consistency not consistent? What is it that keeps coming up, that keeps showing up, that keeps allowing us to get off course. What causes us to be inconsistent? <laughs> what causes us to be inconsistent? Some of it, is, some of it is, is us, but some of it is the enemy. And we have to begin to take notice when we see momentum, we see it coming. And then all of a sudden, something else just grabs our attention. Something else becomes more important. Something else becomes um, the better idea and gets us off the path of consistency. Consistency is key. For us to walk spiritual ADHD, for us to walk in the promise, in the blessing, and the fulfillment that God has for us, we have to be consistent. Consistent in our prayer life, consistent in our devotion, consistent in our pursuit of purpose, consistent in our pursuit of destiny, consistent in our finances, consistent in our relationships. We have to be consistent. There is a lot of inconsistency in a lot of areas of our lives. And for us to fully be able to embrace everything that he has for us, we have to do better with our consistency. <laughs> consistency is a key. It is a major, major key. So I just wanted to do a quick scope because most of you know that I scope at um, 6 p.m. on Pacific Standard Time on Wednesday. So that'll be my main scope tonight. And that's going to be a good one. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you all midday 
to think about your consistency, to really look at what you've accomplished from the beginning of the year up until now and what you can do better and be consistent with so you can accomplish more before the end of the year. I just wanted to, I like to leave nuggets <laughs> for people to just really think about some things. Just really ask yourself some questions. Um, but tonight I have a really good scope um, I don't want to spill the beans on this one, but it's, it's, it's going to be good. And I hope that you all will join me at welcome, welcome. I hope you all will join me at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, again, I just wanted to be able to do a quick scope to bless many of you. And I like to make people ask them, <laughs> I like for people to ask themselves questions because I was sitting at work today like, Man, there is more. Although I've published a book this year and that's that's good and I'm excited about that, but there's still more that should have been accomplished by this date today. So I'm adjusting and I'm looking at my life and questioning why was I not consistent in certain things? And um <laughs> why was I not consistent in certain things? And what was used to get me off track? That's, that's, I just wanted to drop this real quick to make you all think and ponder what has been coming up against your consistencies. But tonight, I'll just spill the beans. <laughs> tonight, we're, the topic on tonight is going to be called the runway. So when you see that pop up on Periscope, <laughs> join. It's called the runway. And it's a, you've never heard the runway or seen the runway talked about like you're going to see it talked about tonight. So I hope that you all will join me at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're going to talk about the runway. Um, but I hope that between now and then, uh, you yourself about your consistency the good the beautiful thing is the year isn't over today is a new day and you can easily start and become more consistent than you have been i pray that this quick scope blessed you again i will be periscoping tonight the topic is going to be the runway you've never seen the runway the way you're going to see it tonight <laughs> So join me then. I look forward to speaking with you all. Thank you so much for joining me. For those of you who are new, you can find out more about me by going to MashaniAllen.com. Thank you so much. And I will see you all tonight at 6.